For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns. It's Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. Let's have a look at some more of those intraday fastball expansion of range and volume setups. Today we had NLS Pharmaceuticals. This was the cheapy du jour. This one made a big move right off the open. You can see here on the daily chart that obviously right where we are now is uh, right where we were at about, uh, about 10 a.m. Pacific time this morning. That represented a very wide range bar. The rest of what this thing did today was an exceptionally wide range bar. But take a look here at this big parabolic open, and this was our clue to start looking for places to rest a buy stop. And in the case of NLS this morning, I was looking down here at this $1.80 FIB retracement. So this was the 50% FIB retracement. And what I was really looking for here was a move back up into this $2 range. And you can see that this is actually what happened. So you get a nice uh, pullback here. This is sort of a de facto 3-2 pitch setup as the stock made this big wide range move higher then came back down again. Got down into that 50% uh, retracement and left us a nice looking switch hitter 3-2 pitch setup and uh, an entry price on this just above $1.80. And then a target back up around $2.03. That represents the close of this bar and uh, the open of the next bar and also overlaps very nicely with this attempted push higher and a nice volume by price node. So everything here stacked up and said we had a good probability for a continued push higher. Usually a first surge is not the last surge. It did wind up all the way back up in the highs at $2.40. But in the case of something like NLSP, what I'm really looking to do is just load up a lot of shares and try to get a small gain and get out as quickly as possible. That's because the social media moves can disappear just as quickly as they start. And we've got to stay frosty once we get into these positions. Our next candidate was Big Lots. And this gave us plenty of opportunity over the course of the day to capitalize on some unusual options activity, as well as a very nice wide range bar. Over the course of the session, we had a nice fastball expansion of range and volume forming in Big Lots. This is a frequent flyer for us. We trade this one very, very regularly, as those of you on the Around the Horn trading plan know. And today, the first opportunity really came along when the stock consolidated right up above this $49.14 pivot line. This was R2, and it was obvious that the stock had lots and lots of upside momentum. Most of the tick activity over the course of the day on this one was green, so there was a lot of buy side activity, and the options activity was mostly on the call side, and there was a lot of it going on. Here we see that from $49.14, we had a nice move higher. This got us up into about $49.75, not quite the measured move that I was looking for originally. But in this case, the cue to take it was this consolidation. This could have very easily turned into a breaking ball or a checked swing setup. We could have seen a reversal back down into the pivot line, and this makes for a nice clean setup and a quick way to capitalize on social media pressure in a stock that's feeling the squeeze. So there you have it. That's Tuesday. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. I hope you had a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for tomorrow. It's the best trader education anywhere, only from traderinsight.com.